Well, let me just start by saying this is incredibly awkward because I thought my power was going to be off uh, by this time. And so I wouldn't have access uh, to Wi-Fi. So um, if this is being uploaded uh, on the Tuesday, I do apologize for um, any, any misconceptions, perhaps. But honestly, I thought I'd be in pitch darkness by this point. So, well, aside from the light of day, obviously, because it's very bright outside, okay? And hot. It's still hot. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't be complaining because it's Britain, the land of rain and not much else. But um, anyway, guys, I cannot think of the last time I was this hyped for a reaction. Honestly, because <sighs> this, I go as far as saying this is the most hyped I've been for a video to react to, like, at, in my channel. Without a doubt. This is a huge deal. Hell of a Boss Season 2 Episode 1 has dropped. Okay? Season 1 isn't finished yet. But I do have a theory. Because here's the thing. I do have a theory um, as to why they've not finished Season 1 yet. But I will um, go back on that the theory once the episode is finished. And see if I've been proven right. So, um... But the first hell of a boss, oh my god, it was so good! It was so freaking good. Like, granted, I will say it's a bit difficult doing a reaction to it, especially considering uh, my mind is pretty slow uh, when it comes to registering, registering stuff. And a lot of thing, a lot of, like, hell of a boss's humor is centered around, um, like, pop culture references and, like, small little visual gags. Which one needs to kind of really pick up on. But I, sh I, I, sh I should probably explain. So um, how I typically do this. Because Hell of a Boss obviously gets ad revenue. I have to download the video. And uh, put it in some media source in OBS. However, that only shows a small screen. Because I have to, because I have to show my face. I have to show my face. Because I <laughs> obviously like. Okay, so like, hang on, let me let me just give let me just give you an example. So you can see the screen up there. It's a little box there, but and so that's all I can see. That's my biggest problem. So that's the biggest problem with making this. Yes, I could just skip, like I could, I could like edit out the ads at the same time. But um, honestly, it's just it's just much less of a faff doing it this way. But. I definitely will have to concentrate uh, during during this reaction, so wish me luck in that department. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'm super, super excited, because like I said, the first Hell of a Boss, just the definition of iconic and, like, lovable, recognizable characters, fantastic animation, humor that has my sides absolutely splitting, just and a compelling story like legit last time we watched it it actually made me cry it legit actually hell of a boss has actually made me cry which is unheard of bizarrely enough but i am super super pumped i'm not gonna lie i'm really 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 pumped obviously we got the dog here with us and um we're about to react so drop the the blah blah Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too if you want to see more content like this. And let's go. Hell of a Boss. Season season 2, Episode 1. I've forgotten what the title's called. God damn it. Just hang on a minute. The Circus. There we go. Every single time. I, I need to research the flipping thing. Draw audiences. Oh, it's Stolas' house. <laughs> My birthday! My birthday! It's my birthday! Yay! Birthday! Birthday! Woohoo! That's birthday such, a, that's such an authentic yourself, reaction. yourself, young prince. You know excitement is unbecoming of a Goisha. Oh, right. Is that the same... Is that the same voice actor as Stolas? That, um, moxie-looking clone. But father told me, today is the day I am old enough to know my purpose and responsibility. Seriously, of it course, looks like moxie. I'm sure it will be wonderful. Plus, I've actually remembered the names of the characters this time. <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> there is my little uh which son is this one? They're so f Ow! <laughs> Ow! Fucking <laughs> many. Stolas, your highness. Stolas, yes. Oh, this is <laughs> right, Stolas. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's the one. The owl boy. Well, the owl my boy. little one, it is fun. Why do I, I? I'm gonna keep that as my nickname from now on. I'm not gonna lie. The owl boy. Finally, your day of becoming a two-part owl man from a DC. Family. How? Good for you. Are you ready to know what you will be meant to do to serve hell? Yes, father. You will be entrusted with the study of the Earth's skies, the stars, the prophecies they hold, all that stuff. Isn't that fun? You will begin the studies of your grimoire, which will grant you access to the mortal realm to study and observe, and you will grow to be a mighty prince of hell with your own legions to lead and pass on your knowledge to. I will do my best, father. Wonderful. Also, son, you are destined to sire a precautionary addition to the Goisha family, so you are now engaged. Congratulations. Isn't she <laughs> Oh, that's an ugly noise, son. Here, how about you cease this bitch crying? <laughs> that usually works. Oh, would you like it if I took you I'm to the... I'm not gonna lie. Children crying, like... This is pro I'm probably gonna have to get rid of this pet peeve when I have kids, but I can't- I, d I really don't like children crying. Like, not because it's annoying, but because it just makes me so sad. It just makes me so sad. It's such a- it's such an upsetting noise, you know. Circus in town? Just hearing, like, children a child enjoy crying. the circus, right? Would that distract you enough from your non-negotiable future marriage? They're all Moxie clones, dead god! Is there a spark the rise of the Moxies? The front, but also far Blitzo, what have you done? Enough that I don't have to... Oh, smell the poor. See me make a horse? Crap. 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 <laughs> Get off the stage! Well, <laughs> it was a horse, but then it ate too much sugar and its legs stopped working. So it had to amputate. Now it's a gross worm. Oh, horse. the horror! <laughs> See, he gets it. Cause horses, they make no sense. Okay, Blitzo, that's enough horsing around. Hey, everybody, look at this! It's banana pudding, the clown horsey. <laughs> I like liked his broken horse joke. It was funny. Their legs do stop working when they eat too much sugar. It's called laminitis. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is it a thing? Explain to me. Please. So I can get my voice back again. So, uh, that was real great. So, uh, <coughs> that little clown you have, my son really enjoyed that one. I was wondering if I could buy him. This is buy him? Not Purchase him. <laughs> yes, accurate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. My son doesn't have any friends, you see. <laughs> and he liked the little clown. I'm not gonna lie. I can genuinely imagine that. Clown boy. It's his birthday. He's so sad and I don't want to deal with him. Can I write a check? Well, Fizzeroli is a big draw. He has a few more shows to be in today, so it would be pretty... Expensive. I'm not gonna lie, that voice kind of doesn't fit. 
A little bit. Our voice kind of doesn't <laughs> no, fit. No, no. Really. The other one. Blitzow? Correct. How much? Uh, well, well, he's my son, so... Ah, uh, mm, uh, how much you got in your pocket? A uh, watered up five and a slim fit condom. Yeah, that's plenty. Done. Splendid. Fetch him for me and we will be on our way. So I like to dance. I am War Horse. And I, I am I like sad. To Why are you sad, War Horse? I'm on a horse, brother. No no take a look at me. Oh. Well, that's okay. <laughs> if anybody I remembers that, oh my god. In the war. Only Brits. <gasps> I, only, only Brits will get that joke. I think. War? Yes, the Great Pirate War. No, no pirates. The Great Pirate War. If you keep talking about pirates, I will punch you. I fought bravely, but I could not run fast enough. They took my legs. There was blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. Ew. No blood. Blood is disgusting. No. It's cool. <laughs> well, Banana Punning is here to save the day. With his magical feet, he dances around with. He will dance all over War Horse to make him feel better. And then... There'll be more of me then! That's so gross! Stop! Never! Boy, I got a job for you. You are gonna spend the day with one of the Goisha princes. Ew, why? Because Ew. money! Now listen carefully. You are being... There's not as many, like, pop culture references and, like, fast changes, I think. And... I think this is why I'm I'm going to mention my point what I think this will be. This will be a flashback season for episode 8. Of oh, wait, is it episode 8? Part Aussie's part 2. I reckon it's going to come back to those um to all these plot points brought up uh in this season. Um because this is a flashback season. So I reckon it's going to go through all kind of like Blitzo's past, Stolas's past, like that kind of thing. And kind of seeing how it kind of shapes them, and then lead into uh, the final episode of season one. Born out to be his playmate, Which I've never, I, I can safely say, I've never seen in any show of any kind. I can safely say, I've never seen that. So, good on Vivian Madrano from actually um, creating some originality. I'm gonna steal as much from those rich fuckers as you possibly can. Steal, but. What if I get caught? Don't you want your family to be able to buy a bigger tent? Better food? Don't you want to be able to help me and your mama out? Of course I want to help mama. Then you gotta do this. Everything those rich fucks have will be worth a fortune. Yep. But if I'm caught, I'm scared, Dad. There are scarier things, aren't there, son? But... Yeah, such as you. Oh, snap. Yes, Papa. Yeah, such as that face. <laughs> Here is your new friend, my son. A happy birthday. A friend? I guess. Hi. Uh, I'm Bloodza. I'm Stolas. It's nice. Ouch! Don't bother that one. He bows to us, idiot. Oh, right. Sorry, father. I'm so good at daddying. I love that line. <laughs> I'm so good at daddying. <laughs> I don't know why. Why is that so funny? Why? <laughs> why is that? Why is that so funny? This is my book on the difference between frogs and toads. There's a lot of differences. And this is my book on plants and herbs. Did you know plants can hear you? Plants are boring. This is all boring stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I've never had a friend to share my books with. You know it would be fun? A game. Let's play Treasure Hunt. What's that? It's where we pretend we are pirates and we go around the house collecting all the nicest things and then we throw them out the window. We throw them out the window? Yes. Since when did pirates throw things out windows? Since like the dawn of time. Come on. 
Pirates are always throwing stuff out windows. I can't I... tell if it if they actually got voice actors here or if they are like kid voice actors here or these are just girls uh, doing the voices. Don't I can't think they tell. had windows. What? Did a book say that? Yes, actually. Several. Well, in this game, we are throwing them out the window because it's fun. Well, that's an odd game. <gasps> Is this an imp game? Sure. Imp game. Why not? Well, if it's what you want to play, let's do it. <laughs> oh, that rendition of come the on, come theme on. is so nice. <laughs> my new grimoire. It's a grimoire. spell book. I have to learn it so that I can access the living world. The living world? Like the one with humans and stuff? Where the sinners come from? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yes. I'm supposed to learn to use it to study the sky. Why? My dad says I can find prophecies, but I don't really know. But I'm supposed to. That's what my job will be when I grow up to join the rest of the Goetia family. Well, you know what I'm gonna do when I grow up? I'm gonna run my own circus, and I'm gonna be the most famous imp ever, and I'll be able to do what I wanna do all day. I'm gonna make so much money and buy myself a big building with a big office. A big office? For a circus? Yeah, a big office. Circus business with clowns and horses. And the horses will all have good names, like Stapler and Biscuit Queen. <laughs> I'm sure you will. That sounds like a good business. Yeah, and if you apply, I'll hire you. Maybe. <laughs> You'll hire me? Yeah, if I feel like it. Well, I hope I qualify. <laughs> You'd be a good boss. You say that with sarcasm, you'd be, but... you'd be a hell of a boss. Roll credits. It I totes one. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh, why do I feel like this is gonna go downhill? Yep. Good grief, he's naked! Oh. Oh. I was right! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Good grief, he's naked! Well, not anymore. Hey, dressing gown scarcely counts. Look, it's barely hanging over his shoulders. Anyway, I'm lingering on this too much. This joke's gone on long enough. I know still being married isn't a big enough occasion, but to be fair, it's no picnic being married to a boring stiff like Stolas. Yeah. No wonder he's cheating on you. You're that rude to him. Stella, what in hell is this? <laughs> Ugh, Stolas, you know I like throwing parties. Plus, it's true, so you can come if you want. Of course you did the hair toss. <laughs> oh, 
more moxie climbs. No, Stone Ass is terrible in bed. I swear to fuck, he just lays there staring at the wall and I have to do everything. It's embarrassing. I'm glad one egg fell out of me so I could stop pretending to want to fuck his scrawny twig ass. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Takes one to know one, bitch. Do you have anything stronger than this? We have absinthe, your highness. Bring me all of it. Poor people. Oh, I'm so glad that they're not allowed. Them anywhere near me. <laughs> Can you imagine if you didn't have well, well, money? Well, 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 well. Stole us, well, sir. Well, well. <laughs> We got this nasty imp trying to sneak into your Which chambers. Way? What should we do with him? Into my chambers, really? Oh, well, that is concerning. Mm. Uh, leave him to me. I will handle him accordingly. Mm. Follow me, imp. Him. More like simp. Oh my god, no! That's their ship name! <laughs> That's their ship name! S simp. <laughs> He's an imp. She st he stole us. Look, I, I didn't mean to interrupt your, whatever, the party. I, I was just trying to... Don't bother with excuses. I know why you were here. You do. He recognizes him. He recognizes him. Yes! You were here to ravish me, weren't you? Uh... Look. You? Why else would you be breaking into my room? You could have asked to visit, you know. It's been a long time, but I have a very good memory. Oh, yeah! Help. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I figured, you know, since you're a prince and all, it might just be easier to you know, scale the walls and slip on in. It certainly is easier than going through your fucking staff. One would think you might be here for nefarious reasons if you are sneaking in during the cover of night. Well, I wanted to crash the party, and it's always more fun, you know, to make an entrance. I recall how you enjoy making an entrance. So, over two decades since I last saw you, are you still a circus clown? Oh, <laughs> no, no, not anymore. No, I kill people now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> how afraid should I be? Well, I mean, how afraid? Very do you afraid. Be? Oh. Well, um, well, I, uh, you know, I was teasing. I don't really... You know, you seem pretty tense. How about I help you out there? Uh. Um, <laughs> you know, this is, um, getting a wee bit... Is it hot? I'm starting to feel it getting very hot. Oh, oh, dude, what are you doing? Oh, dude, I barely remember your name. Dude, it's 30, but it's 30 it's above zero. Celsius. Oh, didn't it have an O at the That's end? Terrible. Like a clown That's name? Terrible. I remember. Oh, oh my brain. I can't process I can't process when I'm watching scenes like this. <sighs> yeah, well, it's silent now, okay? So call me Blitz. Okay. Blitz. Blitz. What are you doing to me? What do you want me to do to you? I uh well, uh, ah, ah, oh my fuck, wow, oh, you are so old, oh, Blitz, oh, it's what away. are we doing, no, no, away. sit down, damn it, oh, so you like to command, you like being in charge, hmm, yeah, I sure do, Oh, so you're a kinky little imp, are you? Do you like it when I talk to you dirty? I want you to me with your in there. Get it all the way, get it all the way through me, you. Oh, stop it. Yes, if that's what Blitzy uh, wants. Uh, whoa, whoa. That's how you know I'm sick. Oh my God. Hey, <laughs> Chloe. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, Fro yeah, Flo, you should probably turn your heads away since you're a little baby, aren't you? You're too young. Blitzy, oh my, yes! Oh, I've never had anyone want me this way. You have no idea how long I've craved this kind of passion and how much it means that the one who wants me is my first ever friend.
<sighs> All right, fine. <sighs> I can do this real fast. Sorry, I fucked your husband. What? <laughs> What's that, Why would you yeah. tell her that? Was this sound? Why would you say I that? She doesn't even know you snuck in. Being divorced. vibes from Hamilton in a way I don't know maybe because it feels like because it's not quite a breakup song but it's got that kind of vibe it's between you and I just a comfortable lie like, I'm the that's fool a who believes when you look in my eyes prince all alone upon your throne your power You have no choice inside oh, your gilded jail. The fuck are you doing? Reflecting. Well, stop! It's annoying to hear you screeching your silly woes all the time. Why are you still here? You leave with fear on weekends, but then you stay around the house despite everything. I like tormenting you. I want to keep reminding you of what you did. I know what I did. I would feel bad if I hurt you, but we both know I didn't do that. You and I were arranged for one reason, to birth a precautionary heir to the Goetia family. Nothing more. I tried so many years to make it comfortable for us to have this family, but it was never enough. The only reason I have endured your constant insults and cruelty was for that girl to have a normal life. I cannot do this anymore. I want you out now. What do you mean, out? I mean out. Out of this palace, out of my life. We are getting the divorce. How? Dare you! What do you think the rest of the Goetia family will think? And Drelf is- I don't care what your arrogant brother thinks! And the only thing the Goetia family wanted from our marriage is already 17, so it's over. I'm done! Fine. I have no desire to stay in the place of a traitorous embarrassment. You have fallen from what little grace you had, and I know you'll pay for it. Considering, considering you're the one that's just been axed from a, from a rich family. <sighs> I really want to do a dub of that scene now. Oh, it's so good to have this series back. It's so good. Brandon Rogers, obviously. He's got a YouTube channel, actually. Yeah, so I think it, they've got uh, female voices. The animation team is freaking huge. Yeah. Oh my god. Stella's 
sink. So that's the actual sink. Oh, I've missed this series! Bloody hell! So yeah, I do think the direction they are going with this is that this is going to be a prequel season before leading into the finale. Uh, but, so kind of explaining some things, but, um, it definitely, it still has that emotional weight that sneaks up upon you, but integrated with a uh, very kind of in-your-face uh, dark humour. Like, tab like especially, like, very, ta well, in this case, in the ca in this episode's case, very taboo humour. Um, like, there wasn't, there wasn't as much, like, because here's the thing. It, swearing and gore was kept to a minimum. Aside from that scene, let's, that's, we're not going to mention. <laughs> uh, we're not going to mention that. But, um, but no, like, it was kept to a minimum. Like, it was only really that one scene, and aside from, like, the typical, like, swearish writing. Because, like, it's a show with heart. It's not based around, kind of, like, that kind of dark humour. It's a show, kind of, like, this felt more, kind of, slow pace. Like, it, it sacrificed those, kind of, pop culture references uh, for a more, kind of, stripped down version show with more heart. And so I'd really like to... So if this is the direction that season one is... Season two's going for... I'm super excited, because honestly, this is the kind of direction that I want to kind of see. Like, this is, I love this kind of direction that shows go with this. How they just, just rely on, like, simple, pure heart to carry a story. It's amazing, and honestly, this is, it's, I'm so glad I decided to do an internet reaction to it. I'm so glad, because I love, love this series so bloody much. Um, but yeah, I'm so, I apologize if I'm, my reactions don't quite, uh, do it justice, but hopefully, um, you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have, because it's, it's great, it's great to be back, honestly, it's, it's good to be back to the series, I don't know, I don't know when the next episode's gonna be out, but judging by how much effort's poured in, it's gonna take a while, uh, but Jesus Christ, it's worth the wait. Okay, so, Vivian Medrano, hell of a boss, it's good to have you guys back, and uh, doing, like, season two, I because, honestly, I loved reacting to season one, so, um, I'm really, really looking forward to the next episode, and hopefully it won't disappoint as much as this episode, this, no, <laughs> it won't disappoint like this episode didn't disappoint, so, um, Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, reaction to this first to uh, season two episode one of Hell of a Boss. Um, drop the video like and enjoy, as I said, and subscribe to uh, Vi Vivian uh, Vizzy Pop as well. Because um, honestly, her content is like it's on another level compared to most YouTubers I've seen. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.